power restoration, the city says, could last through the weekend. Help was even being asked. Nearly 200,000 customers without the, across the state are without power. And that person who captured the footage of the heavy rain, the strong winds, and the frequent lightning, Lance Greenfield. Let's bring him on in now. Joining us on the phone, Lance, thanks for taking the time with us this morning. We understand you're without power, so you want to conserve that battery on the phone. But tell us more about the situation in your neighborhood. And, and you saying that you've never seen anything like this before. How long have you lived in Tallahassee? I'd imagine you've dealt with a, a storm here or there. Yes, I uh, have gone through a couple of hurricanes that hmm. got pretty close to direct hits on Tallahassee over the six years that I've been here. But this this one this morning was this was different. It was unique, wasn't it? I mean, when when we're looking at the video <laughs> itself, I, it's sunrise shortly around 630 or so. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it looked quite dark. The, the frequent flashes of lightning. Have you spoken with any of your neighbors? Pe do you know if people in your area have, have lost power, even damage? Uh, I haven't been out yet, but uh, because power's out, there's no TV, so no television news. But I've been getting a lot of reports on my cell phone, um, and there's uh, my area of Tallahassee, which is the northwest area, uh, got hit pretty bad. Uh, a lot of trees down into houses and in, into cars. Traffic lights are out, which is a huge concern because people don't understand. <laughs> when traffic lights are out, it's a four-way stop, so be careful. Yeah, that's one that's one thing. I'm, I'm amazed, though, you saying that you've been through a couple of hurricanes and having this type of activity. There was in the forecast the chance of these storms moving on through um, power restoration that the city of Tallahassee mentioning that it might last throughout the weekend. You're you're still without out power, correct? I mean, is, is that right. the case along your street, too, from what you've seen? Um, well, I, I can look out and, and see most of our eight uh uh, buildings on our property here, and, and nobody has any power. But they were out, uh, the maintenance people were out with uh, chainsaws cutting up some uh, tree limbs that had fallen down so that people could get out. Uh, the main concern was getting our entrance and exit gates open because of the power outages, so they, mm. had, to manually, they had to manually open those. But, you know, uh, this morning at 6.30, when those lightning strikes were happening every three to five seconds, I haven't seen anything like that since the old days in Vietnam with, with barrages that came in. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And, and the force of the thunder was almost like explosions going off and shaking the building that I'm in for like three to five seconds. So it was pretty intense. I will say, I mean, the, the, the power of the storms and, and what we saw move on through, and even briefly, the National Weather Service there in Tallahassee, they had to seek shelter with power dropping. We, we briefly lost radar out of the Tallahassee office. So there was this, this destructive storm, which actually is how it was tagged now as it was been approaching Jacksonville, Florida this morning. Um, tell me this, for a city that has a bunch of trees, um, and compared to other hurricanes, what, what were your first thoughts? You, you think that there might be a, a lot more damage than, than maybe what folks expected heading into the storms this morning? Well, I've, I've unfortunately got to go out in, it, uh, in about a half an hour to see if I can get into the post office if they have power because uh, I've got a package that has to be mailed today. So uh, I'll be out there looking and, and seeing how bad it really is uh, firsthand in a little while. All right. Well, we do have other storms moving on through. There's been this line that's developed. Fortunately, they're not as severe. However, they still carry that that potential. We we appreciate uh, you talking with us this morning. Thank you for letting us use that video too, Lance Greenfield. Um, getting the sights and sounds out of Tallahassee a bit difficult this morning, certainly with widespread power outages. Thanks again for for joining us.